In this video tutorial, we will see the My Resources service offering. My Resources lists all the devices, software, and subscriptions that a user owns or is subscribed to. For each of this item, the user can report an issue, if applicable, view warranty related information, receive alerts when the warranty expiry date is approaching. My Resources has a plug-in and form attached to it. The plugin is at the following location. Both the plugin and its source code are available at the same location. The form is at the following location. With this basic introduction, let us get started. Log in to catalog with your business user credentials. Click Requests. Then Service Management. Here, you find My Resources. If you click it, you can view all your devices, software and subscriptions. You can view your device details know when the warranty expires and also report an issue. All from a single view. Let us see how you as an admin can configure the My Resource service so that your users can use it. Log in to catalog with your administrator credentials. To view the configuration forms, click Catalog. Then Configuration. Then Content Configuration. Here, you can view the forms, SAM Configuration and My Resources Configuration. Let us now see the SAM configuration form, which helps display the software assets and subscriptions. Here, you need to enter CA SAM Web Service URL, username, and password. Now let us look at the My Resources configuration form in detail. This form has five sections, devices, software, subscriptions, common settings, and actions. We will look at each in detail. Let us see what changes the Devices section allows us to make. The default image for devices lets you specify the URL of the image that you want displayed, in the Devices pane. The Device Family filter lets you specify the device families that you want to view in the Devices pane. The Device Families and Images lets you specify an image for the device family. You can use the Device Families and Images field to change the highlighted image in this page. The screen shows the changed image for the two devices. Now let us look at the software section. Default image URL lets you specify the URL of the image that you want displayed in the software pane. Use the software families and images field to filter the software based on the software family you enter. You can also associate a specific image for the software family. You can use the software families and images field to change the highlighted image in this page. The screen shows the changed image for the Microsoft Windows XP Professional software. Now let us see the Subscriptions section. Subscriptions also contain the two fields, the Default Image URL field and Subscriptions Families and Images field. Default Image URL lets you specify the URL of the image that you want displayed in the Subscriptions pane. Use the Subscriptions Families and Images field to filter the subscriptions based on the Subscriptions family you enter. You can also associate a specific image for the Subscriptions family. You can use the Subscriptions Families and Images field to change the highlighted image in this page. The screen shows the changed image for the Adobe Acrobat subscription. Let us now look at the Common Settings section. These settings apply to all devices, software, and subscriptions. Here you have three sections. Image indicating upcoming warranty expiry, image indicating expired warranty, and warranty expiry reminders, in days. You can change the image URLs, and also the number of days before which you want the user to be notified of the warranty expiry of their devices, software, and subscriptions. Let us now see the changes the actions section allows us to make. Here you need to specify the offering ID of the report and issue offering, and select the SDM categories used while creating a ticket in SDM. You can select the category for devices, software and subscriptions. The default category when you report an issue against any of your devices is hardware. Let us change the device category to see how this works. If we change it to email for instance. The category field here will change to email. Now, you have learned what you can do with the My Services offering. Thank you for watching.